Hello all. Welcome to my class. Today we'll discuss one of the most revolutionary paintings from French history, Liberty Leading the People by Eugene Delacroix. So the leading French romanticist Ferdinand Victor Eugene Delacroix, that is his full name, was born on April 26, 1798. and died on August 13, 1863. He was born in Paris, a Chartan Saint Maurus, and was known to be rebellious in his attitude towards established rules. His style was more expressive. He traveled to Morocco in 1832, which further influenced his art and subject matter. His work influenced later artists from art styles like Impressionism. So this is Eugene Delacroix Now a few words on romanticism Romanticism was a burgeoning movement that is a flourishing movement that started around the late 1700s until around the mid 1800s It was not only in France but had roots in England and Germany and across other parts of Europe Similarly it was prominent not only in the visual arts but in other genres like music literature and architecture and Eugene Delacroix was the leading figure of the French romantic school he wished to free himself from academic arts classical ideal and canon so he was against the classical ideals of painting and the subject of his painting was a contemporary one whereas he chose canvases of the size which were generally reserved for historical paintings at that time Here we can see the painter uses dark colors like red and blue instead of the more muted or dull colors that were used at that time. So this is the painting Liberty Leading the People by Eugene Delacroix and it was painted in 1830 and it is considered as one of the most revolutionary paintings from French history and French romanticism. It is also described as national icon because it depicts and symbolizes the French uprising against the monarchy of the time it was painted. Now, what is the historical context behind this painting? So the revolution depicted in this painting is not the 1789 French Revolution, but Delacroix was inspired by the events of the July Revolution. and what is the july revolution it is a political upheaval that took place in paris on the 27th 28th and 29th of july 1830 these violent demonstration took place as the ruling french king charles 10 tried to control the freedom of the people by executing a constitutional takeover so charles 10 tried to control the individual freedom of the people and the parishions or the people violently protested against the abuses of their individual rights and writers took hold of the city and while and fighting started and it results in a high death toll and the result was that charles 10 was eventually abdicated and a constitutional monarchy which was known as the july monarchy was established with louis Philip first being made king of the French. So that is the historical context behind this painting. It is not the 1789 French Revolution, but the July Revolution. And here the painter was in Delacroix was in much of a revolutionary himself, and he did not take part in the Paris fighting. Rather, he defined himself as a simple stroller, being simple a walker. However, he advocated for liberalism and was struck by a feeling of patriotism and pride as he observed his fellow citizens fighting. So this is the historical context behind this painting. It is not the 1789 French Revolution, but the July Revolution that took place in Paris on the 27th, 28th and 29th of July 1830. Now let me explain the visual uh, description. Here, the liberty. This is the painting. 
liberty leading the people and it presents a scene filled with action and intensity in which we can see the central character is a woman and she was surrounded by hundreds of men following her lead so she is the central character and the woman is wearing a long yellow dress which is open at her chest exposing her breast so she is the central figure and she is leading the uh, protest and she is wearing a long yellow dress and her face is depicted in profile and turn to her right hand side and she is looking over her right shoulder so she is looking backward at the men following behind her and in her right arm she is holding a french flag tricolor french flag and the colors were blue white and red and in her left hand we can see there is a large musket with a bayonet attached to its muzzle so in the right uh, arm we can see the french flag and in the left arm we can see a large musket it's a type of gun so she appears as a powerful force running forward so she was running forward and she was barefooted over what appears to be a barricade so she was running forward towards a barricade and again she is also wearing a red phrygian cap and it is that 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 red phrygian cap is the long lasting symbol of freedom since ancient roman times so she is the central figure she is wearing a long yellow dress and she is leading the protest so she is a bold figure and uh, some say that she is the personification of mary and a symbol of liberty in uh, france okay so she is the personification of mary and uh, a symbol of the ideals of liberty in france and to her left so to her left is the enger figure of a boy distinguished by the two pistols in both hands a satchel and the black beret black beret means a hat a type of hat on his head which is usually worn by french students and made of and that beret was made of velvet and is referred to as falloche so this is the enger figure and to her right are several adult male figures the one closest to the woman is wearing a top hat a black coat and holding a short gun in both hands so this is the man and next to his left we can see another man wearing less formal attire okay a beret on his head ruffled white shirt ruffled white shirt and he is holding a brickwit saber brickwit saber means it's a type of uh, sword in his right hand so this is the brickwit saber he is holding a brickwit saber and uh, in his right hand and we, we can also see a pistol hosted to his waist by a red and blue handkerchief again another figure is also there he is scrolling on all fours and he is approaching towards the women's feet so this figure he is peering up peering means looking up at her as if she is a figure of salvation and he is wearing black trousers a blue shirt and a red waist band and bandana this is a bandana otherwise referred to as an infantry biker and here the colors are the remnants red blue and white are the reminiscent of the french flag and also we can see the several dead bodies strewn in the foreground of the composition to the left there is a man lying half naked with only one socks on his lifeless feet and to the right there are two other figures of men that appear to be clothed in military garb about the background and the background comes into view by the boy on the right side near the right middle ground border of the composition and here 
uh, in the background we can see Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris and the rest of the background appears to be filled in small and throngs of people. So this is the description. So this painting Liberty Leading the People depicts a movement in time when people from all types of social classes fought together in the edge of their freedom. So people from all sections of society took part in this revolutions. All these people are the representatives of the different sections of the people. Okay, so this is the visual description and let me tell you some more some other aspects of this painting also about the color and light in liberty leading the people we can see there are uh, many colors like white brown and uh, uh, blue etc etc and it gives the composition a colorful harmony and the center we are met with yellow uh, that is the central figure is wearing a long yellow dress with various brighter tones of color here and there. For example, red and blue emphasizing the French flag color. And there is a deep blue in the sky above, almost visible through the fog of smoke in the background. And the foreground is lit up by an unknown light source, highlighting the central female figure representing liberty. So the central figure represents liberty, means the woman represents liberty. And about the space, I told you uh, uh, Delacroix uses, uh, the his, his uses canvases which were used for historical paintings at that time. Here, liberty leading the people painting is a large scale artwork measuring 260 into 325 centimeters. If we stand in this, uh, in, if we stand in front of this painting, uh, we can uh, feel the intensity of the sea, more especially the foreground, and it seems to move right into our space. And it is also emphasized by the figure to the left, whose arm is described by art sources as foreshortened, giving the illusion of space. So this is all about the painting "Liberty Leading the People" by. Uh, Eugene Delacroix, which was painted in 1830, and it was one of the most revolutionary paintings from French history and French Romanticism. Hope you have understood the painting. Thank you.